So we are thankful for this uh, gesture that you have handed over now, vehicles, to the county government to assist us with the conscience. But our main issue is the dispute between the county government of Kakamega and the national government in regards to those houses. In fact, it was so disrespectful. They demolished a house at midnight when a judge of the high court was sleeping in the same house. For the matters of respect, they could have involved in the governor of the county, ask the governor of the county, you are coming to demolish house A, B, and C. Kindly be informed of the above national government exercise that will go on. But they came at midnight and did what they did and went away. We want intergovernmental relation taking co committee to get involved in the matter and let's have amicable, amicable dispute. We resolve it because we are one government. But we are congratulating the president because he promised in January this year that they would speed up the process of handing over functions and assets to the devolved units for effective operations of uh, county government. So this is a good step. And uh, the second schedule, you need to also help us get all, reclaim all the land belonging to the county government. We had a case here where we had a conflict between national government and county government in regards to demolition of houses in Milimani. Many of the residents in Milimani estate here had paid actually the rates to the county. The land, including a house belonging to a judge of the Supreme Court was demolished. He has proper location of do uh, documents. A house belonging to a member of parliament was demolished. And our records show that the properties belong to the defunct Kakamega Municipal Council and uh, Kakamega uh, County Council. So the properties technically belong to the county government of Kakamega. But we wondered how the national government just moved in to demolish it. So the case is still going on, but we urge the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee to take up the issue because the governor raised concern over this matter. He even invited the, our party leader, Rela Molodinga. We visited all those houses that were demolished and we still have an issue to handle with the national government. So. Let's resolve the issues amicably because the Constitution says we are supposed to consult and operate together as a team because we are serving the same citizens. There is no citizen belonging to the national government and the citizen belonging to the county government.